Hey, here we are once again. Today's a little different. Today we're at the workbench. Today we're going to be working on this here amplifier. Going to put some new tubes in it. Going to set the bias. This is a stage right 15 watt tube amp. I'm going to set the bias. So stick around. I'll show you what we got here. So here it is, the back end of my stage right 15 watt tube amp. Before we get going, I'm going to tell you that this is very dangerous. Full disclaimer here, do not try this at home. I am not a technician. This is for entertainment purposes only. Voltages inside a tube amp are deadly. Don't do it. Okay, before we start, I'm going to be using one of these Uh, what do you call these things? Bias probe, okay? It just simply goes between the tube and the socket. Come on, you know what that is. I got two meters in the ready. And I'll be plugged into a current limiter as built by uh, instructions from Uncle Doug. So if anything goes wrong, if I short anything out, this light bulb should come on and limit the amount of current that goes through my body. I, I mean the amplifier. And let's be careful. And let's get started. And let, oh, if you really want to know how to do this the right way, go watch Uncle Doug, because I don't know what I'm doing. But stand by. Okay, so here we are. We're inside the amp. And... This, this little pot, this mini pot or trim pot, is the bias adjuster. It says right there, bias adjust. Actually, it says bass adjust. <clears throat> so that's what we'll be turning to adjust the bias. Now I measured the uh, voltage off pin 7. These are EL84s, so you use pin 7. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not a technician. And I get 265 volts. Using this uh, calculator, it says I should, a cool bias would be 31.7. So I turn this little pot here with this, with this chopstick that I've made into a screwdriver. And on my meter, I'm getting 32 millivolts DC. So that's a little on the cool side. Now to confuse things, that's going off the bias, uh, the bias, uh, what do you call it, the bias probe, which just sits between the tube and the socket. I'm getting 32 millivolts right now. But to confuse things, if you look at the... Uh, let me go over here. Try not to electrocute myself. If I connect this little probe here, now I'm getting, off my other meter, I'm getting negative 5 volts. Now, I don't know what that means. If anybody can tell me what that means, I'd appreciate it. Because I don't know. Okay, one thing I want to mention, of course, when you're working inside a tube amp, uh, you need to have a speaker plugged in. So we do have a speaker plugged in. If you want to know the right way, or, or if you like more technical information, go visit Uncle Doug. This video is not sponsored. I'm not connected with Uncle Doug. I'm not connected with the tubes. I'm not connected with the stage right amplifiers. And basically, I'm not connected. So, here you have it, your stage right 15 watt tube amp from Monoprice. There's the bias pot, you get yourself a probe, I think is the best way to do it. Plug it in and go, or, or don't, because it's dangerous. You shouldn't be doing this, it's dangerous. Um, I think that's going to be all for now. <laughs> Okay, here we have
have it. Damps. Sounds good. I must have done something right. Got, got the new tubes in there. We got it biased. Uh, nothing blew up. We're all good. Is there anything I want to say is uh, thanks for watching. And stick around for some more crazy videos. This one wasn't crazy, but the next one's going to be real crazy. So <laughs> hit that like button and come on back. <coughs> That's pretty good, even through this shop speaker. It's a pig nose, 10 inch pig nose cabinet. Sounds pretty good. It's gonna sound great when I get it back into the cabinet. Eh? <laughs>